Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to be using a custom font. Um, so what I want to do is to uh, add a custom font to uh, my Divi build so that I can use it either in specific modules or globally. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you are going to need to make a change to your wp-config.php file to allow you to um, get round a uh, security issue that Divi will throw up and tell you that, um, or WordPress will throw up and tell you you can't um, upload specific file types. Um, so before you start, you want to go to your wp-config and you want to uh, set this option here it's called define. Um, allow unfiltered uploads equals true so this is the format that you want to use um, now you want to add this to your WP config uh, before you attempt to upload the your font and then once you've finished you want to remove it afterwards to um, lock down your build again to make sure that uh, nothing can be uploaded that shouldn't be um, so um, what I've done is I've already added this to my uh, WP config file. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to add this font called Minima Expanded um, to uh, my Divi installation that I can use in any of the modules once it's uploaded or I'm going to show you how to set it globally. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come to our Divi builder. So I'm using the back end builder, I'm not using the front end builder for this, but um, it's available in both. Um, and I've created a row with a text module in, and then what I'm going to do is to upload the font. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come in and customize it. Uh, I want to go to design, and I'm going to use it for my heading text. I'm going to go to my heading font, and as you can see here you get a whole load of the fonts included with Divi but if you want to use a font that isn't included then you're going to need to upload it and so we're going to select this option here click on upload and we're going to name our font so in my case I'm going to name it Minima Standard and then I'm going to choose the font file that I've got um, downloaded so as you can see here I've downloaded all the font types we've got bold expanded or bold, bold italic, standard and standard italic. So I'm going to use the standard font in this instance and it's a true type font and I'm going to select the supported font weights equals all. Um, if you're not sure then you untick it and you can select the font weights that your font supports but I'm going to use the all option and then I'm going to click on upload that's going to then upload the font and I can specify the um, font type that I'm going to use here. So when you're selecting your fonts it will now be in the list as you can see here which is great. So we're going to select that font um, and we're going to use that for the heading text. Of course in the text module we don't have any heading text so I'm going to use it as the uh, text so we'll do that here. We'll add some text. Like that. So what I'm going to do here is let's uh, let's make it red. Let's see if that works. And then I'm going to go back here and change my text sizing to, let's use 20. Let me see what we're doing. And then we can go and preview it to see if it's worked. And there we go. So as you can see here, it's used our custom font which is perfect for what we wanted. Now if you want to use this font throughout your website to do that um, I'm just going to update the page we want to do this via um, our uh, customize option so we're going to go to appearance and customize
and then we want to go to our general settings and typography and we can select our either header font or body font here and there you can see it's picked it up minima standard if I select that you should see the font change for the standard font which it does and if I want to use it as a header font we can do that as well so that is all there is to it. I'm going to use set these back to the default themes as you can see it does change go back to the default theme there and I'm not going to publish that so we'll go back and we'll close that and we'll say yep to that so that is how you would set your font globally um, again if you want to use it in any of your modules so I'm going to go into the blurb module here if I go in and select my text I can choose whether I want to select my title text or coming down to our body text again the font is now added to Divi so that's all there is to it now the next thing to remember is you need to go back to your WP config file and remove this um, allow unfiltered uploads um, that will put your security back as it was and you can continue to use that font throughout your um, throughout your build if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel uh, we will be adding more Divi tutorials as and when we need to um, but uh, just like to say thanks for watching